Today we're going to talk about how to choose the right online PLC programming training. And we're going to start right now. Today, there are hundreds if not thousands of online PLC programming training uh, options on the web. So how do you know which one's the right one for you? And how do you, how do you muddle through all the different areas that you have concerns about. We're going to talk about that today. And I know what it's like. I've spent hundreds of, and thousands of dollars on training programs and Benstop uh, workshop materials. So I know the challenges that you're facing, and I'm going to help you work through them starting today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So one of the biggest challenges is cost. The, the, the costs are all over the board. And the costs do not necessarily equate the quality. And that's very important. Generally, you're going to get good uh, training, but it's a, it's a matter of what can you afford and what do you look forward to. So we're gonna, there's a few questions there. I'm going to try and help you work through some of those cost concerns. All right. Our second uh, concern is time. Um, how much time do should we commit to working on it? How long is it going to take me to, to get through the training? How long is it going to take before I end up with a job? How much is it going to cost me? These are all questions I'm going to do my best to help you work through, right? And then, of course, there's what I call the trust or the ROI. So basically, if I'm paying you money to teach me something, I'm trusting that I'm I'm learning the right stuff, all right? That's, that's really important. What's the return? What am I going to get out of it? Because um, I, ha having never taken your course before, I don't always know what's the deliverable to me. So I'm going to try and help you work through some of those issues as we look at four different options to learn PLC programming online. All right. So what are those options? So we have four different um, service providers and training. Um, here's the thing. These aren't necessarily the best. PLC programming training courses online. Um, they are not necessarily the highest price or the lowest prices. I picked them for very specific reasons, and we'll go through each of them as we talk about each program, all right? Okay, so the first one up is MyPLCTraining.com. So they got the um, Be a Confident PLC Programmer um, program going there, Stephen Gates. I uh, spoke to him before, a uh, real nice guy. So he's got uh, something I like about his program, a couple of things. He's got a, what he calls a, a roadmap here. And I, I like that when you say, hey, here's a map of where you're at, where my training program will take you, and what you can expect as the deliverable. So I really like this. And, and the other thing is you can reach out and ask questions to the any of these instructors before you take the programming to make sure it's a good fit. It's very important to do that. Don't just sign up with, you know, blank expectations um, and you might be disappointed. Okay, so it's very important. You got to do a little bit of due diligence here. All right. So um, especially as the as the courses, some of the courses you'll take get a little higher priced. Very important to ask those questions up front. So uh, in Stefan's program here, if I can get down to where I want to get here, of course, he's got a 100%, 30-day, um, 100% money back guarantee. So that's a great thing to see. So obviously, you got the roadmap. You got the training. You got hardware. Um, he's got videos up at the top up here that, um, that you know, you can get kind of a flavor and a taste for him and his style of teaching, which I always think is very important to do, all right? And then, um, so you get you get the, the, the whole training package, right? And the, the other thing is, uh, Stefan will take you from the beginning, and you get into some uh, intermediate to advanced level um, uh, programming languages. He, he does teach structured uh, text programming. So you're in the medium, uh, midline uh, programming learning that language so from beginner to intermediate and that's a really good um, option here for you right so uh, a couple other things I like about him um, so he'll continually add training programs to the course right without increasing the course he has live live Q&A community of other 
new uh, POC programmers. So you have life supports, you got an issue, concern, he'll try and support you with that. And the other really big value here is he gives you, leases you his Rockwell licenses for the software, 5,000, I think the 500, the, the factory talk, the RS links. So he's going to give you access to that software that you can download on your computer and write it's, it's as though you own that software. And so long as you pay your membership, you have access to his software license. So it's a really great value. The other thing is, it's $37 a month. Okay, this is where I, think, this is where, uh, I, I, I say, again, it's $37 a month. You can't go wrong. You get the software. You get a great training program from, from zero to intermediate level training. And if you work with him and ask him questions, I'm sure he can guide you as far into automation programming as you'd like to go. So it's a really great um, option, okay? I, it's the software license component is one really unique feature about his, his training, all right? So... Who do we got up next? All right. Is key automation. Old Phil. Phil's down in Atlanta. Phil offers a training program that's generally a program where you fly in to his uh, training site and um, you train with him for five days in person. It's a nice, high-quality, high-level, um, in-depth, person-to-person, hands-on to the hardware, hands-on to the software type of training. Now, we, I did say this is online training, right? Phil pivoted his business due to the COVID uh, concern, uh, COVID-19 issues and concerns that we, that we have in the States, and is now offering that level of training online. So what I mean by that is you can, you can network, he'll set you up so that you can network into his hardware and you will be programming on his physical hardware located at his training site. So that's a really great and unique opportunity for you to take that training and get as close to being on site working with the software as if you flew down there. So Phil's got a great program. And let me tell you, he ta he's ta taking over a business from, from Ron Bulford, um, and he's, he's building on that legacy. He's adding a few things on his own. And, uh, but you will not go wrong with Phil. It's a great course. And uh, it's one of those where, you know, his, his in life, his live in person training is 25 or $2,600 plus the flight plus the hotel for five days. He's offering this online option, this online access to him for $2,000. I think it's under two grand. So, it's a great value. It's one of those high level courses that you do try to get one to one, one a year, one every couple of years where you fly in, you spend a few days and really focus on it. Um, in this case, you got an online option. So way to go, Phil. Great, great pivot. All right. Okay. So who's up next? Who do we got next? We got Udemy. All right. So if I'm saying this word wrong, don't ding me. I don't think any of us know how to properly pronounce this word. But Udemy uh, has 636 results for PLC programming. Now, these are $10, $12, $15 courses. There are some that are a little higher, but they're really good introductory material. Um, there's a couple of, couple of programs that have some advanced components to it. But for the most part, it's good, excuse me, introductory material and... Um, I recommend if you're new to the course, new, new to online PLC programming, any new training, you're going to end up taking a course like this because it's $10. You don't have to ask the spouse if you can join a membership site. You don't have to spend, you know, ask to spend $2,000, $3,000 to train with Phil. You can just sign up for a $10 course. Now, the, the if, it, if there's any failure here, it's not in the instructor. The instructors are very skilled at what they're doing. They present a great training. I've taken, I think, most if not all of these courses and have had access to them. And I'm like you. I didn't finish all of them, all right? I'll, let me be upfront about that. I've got some that I've not completed, but I have completed many of them, and I think that they're uh, really valuable courses. 
Udemy's done their part too. They've created a platform. The instructors created great material. The failure becomes when we take a course and then we don't complete it. We don't create a good long-term working relationship with the instructor. We don't do our due diligence as students, as end users of the material. And then we wonder why our skill set's not growing or where we have a, a lot of insecurities about our skill set. This is why. Take these programs seriously from start to finish and create a good working relationship with the instructor. Very important. Create a good good relationship. Get to know them and talk to them on a regular basis. Okay, who do we got next? Oh, Shane. Shane's online PLC support. Now, again, <clears throat> I'm not saying that any of these courses are the best or the worst. I think each of them had their own merits, their own benefits, their own time and place. Very important. You... Let me let me help you here. I cannot tell you where your skill set is. Okay, you have to determine which one of these programs, if any of them, fit what you're looking for and what you need to learn. Okay, um, I can help you <clears throat> answer some of those questions. If you ask questions down below the video, I can you know shoot your emails back and forth. You can, I recommend you talk to the instructors before you sign up for a course. Do your due diligence, okay? So Shane's got a great program here. What I like about Shane's is, and you can find some of his courses on Udemy, but he also has his own um, membership website here. What I like about Shane's is he's got uh, from basic um, up to some advanced material, um, and, and he is like the go-to servo motion control PLC programming training course, and that's what I like. I wanted to introduce you to one course um, that really had some nice high-level material. So you have to determine, where am I at? My introductory, maybe a Udemy uh, course might be worth doing, and of course, complete it. Create a good working relationship with that. Maybe you're ready to make a little bit more of a commitment. Um, but you need the software. Okay, Stephen Gates might be an option. Or you're looking for some more high-level type material. You got Phil, you got you got uh, Shane's um, online PLC. Plus you do have Stephen Gates uh, structured text options here, uh, training options. So what I'm saying is you have a lot of these options and it's up to you to then say, okay, where am I at? What what can I do? Here's a, here's a strategy I recommend that you do. In the real world, every so many weeks, every so many months, you're going to be put on a new project. And what I recommend you do is use each of these as, as somewhat of a new project, right? Maybe um, you're going to spend three months or four months doing a servo project. Shane be a great option for that. You want to do, you know, a month or two or three on, um, on structured text. You have that. Maybe you're new and you got to really... Uh, start somewhere and you want an introductory level, but you want to know where you can go. What's the building box, right? So you might take a few courses in Udemy and then you know you can move um, in different directions. Maybe you've been in the game for a while and you're like, man, I really need a, 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 to, to talk to another high level. Maybe, maybe take an online course. Maybe when this COVID-19 issue is over, you know, fly down there and visit uh, Phil. Um, you have that option as well. It's up to you to decide where you fit in, all right? These instructors and myself, we can we can help answer any of your questions, but I recommend you start and finish a project. And there's no doubt when it comes to cost, these are nominal costs. Most of it is training. You don't even have to chat with the wife or the spouse about this. $10 on Udemy. If you want to join a membership, hey, make sure you work that into your monthly budget. Here's what I here's my thoughts. You need to be spending. Okay, so how long is it going to take? You need to be spending an hour a day programming as you're learning. That's just my opinion. If you're not doing that, you're really not serious, and your growth is going to be hampered. Um, and I think you need to be spending fifty to hundred dollars a month in training and or training materials. Um, this is this over a, a year period, and it needs you need to give yourself one year minimum. All right. It's just like hitting the gym. 
um, I, I went uh, to, to start working out when I first got out of the Marines. It had been a couple of years, a year or two after that. And I was like, man, I really want to get back into shape. Talked to a weightlifting buddy of mine. He said, yeah, go to the gym. I'm not going to tell you what to do or what not to do. Don't anything, do anything stupid. Just go in there and do that for three months, then come back and talk to me. His intent was create the habit. The habit is what you want of doing it every day, working around every day, set time aside, set place aside, and really focus on it, on just creating the habit of learning. And then spend some time and money, a little bit of time, a little bit of money here. You want to do that for, so, you know, I'm thinking $50 a month in training at a minimum, um, uh, an hour a day, and give yourself a year, six months to a year to get a good basic foundation, all right? Start the courses and, and finish them. Here's four options with a lot of unique and interesting features between the four that I think you could really capitalize. And be, if you took no other training in this next six months to a year, this would be uh, some good training. I'm not saying it's the best training or it's the only training. I'm saying these are four very good options. All right, so... Um, what do we got? What else we got here? So we'll get through the training. So, all right. It's at that time. If this is your first time here and you enjoy learning about uh, PLC automation, you're considering making a career jump into automation uh, and you love the PLC programming uh, uh, videos that we do, then go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell and you'll be notified when we produce another video. So until next time, um, keep programming, my friends.